All right, guys, I'm here with the queen herself, Abby Lynn Miller. You should have worn a tiara. I know. Tiara. You know I've done a lot of reactions to me on Dance Moms. It's actually my most viewed video is Jensen and I reacting to me on Dance Moms, but I've never actually done a reaction video with Miss Abby herself. So I decided this time we sit down and we rehash all of those fond memories we have together. Fond? Yeah, I say that kind of sarcastically, you know. Yeah, but, in, we, we in did, but we did work well together. I think she looks um, like a dead fish. You know, we might have to agree to disagree. I think there were some good times. I think there were some pretty bad solos that you gave. It was oh. like, so this is a big compilation of all of Eliana and Yolanda's meltdowns. So we can really explain the true story of what went on here. Meltdowns. Meltdowns. This this is That's the Dance Moms YouTube it? channel. Do not watch that channel. Oh. We don't get any residuals, not a dime. Uh, do you remember? I was so nervous to ask when my mom was there. I was like, I was like, Miss Abby, can I work on my soul? But it was stupid. We have three giant rooms. It's 10,000 yeah. square foot building. And this poor kid's over in the corner. Go into the other room. And I probably had staff there. Yeah. But whatever time of day it was, mm -hmm. they were in the other room and could have helped. Or well, yeah, at least supervised you. A lot you. of the time, you would send us to other people. Like Julian did a lot of our dances. Well, well not like it. all Fix yeah. it, clean it, mm -hmm. go over it, make like, sure it works. Like at least start teaching like a chorus or something. Like, but I remember they weren't—they weren't like letting that happen. No, they wanted to film it because they wanted the mothers to get angry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so wonderful sad. vocabulary, though. I know. You, you know, you I were went so into well these. read at that age. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I went into these. I was like, I'm gonna be dramatic because I need to get myself some airtime. So I was like, I'm the worst dancer on the team. I feel so defeated. Playing the underdog like yeah. someone else. Yeah. What did I say? You, and you're done. And you're done. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> you made nothing look like something. Oh, oh my God, that is like the nicest it, thing you've ever is. said to it, me. It is. It's a big compliment. I'm giving it to you. You know, it's interesting to look back because I just thought I was so bad back then. And I look back and I'm like, wow, like the technique, like all the ballet training I had like really shows. It shows all the time. It was worth it. Kids. Like, oh my God. <laughs> that morning. Well, actually, that night, my mom left me in Stacy's room because of the producers call up and they're like, you're going to dress up as Charlie Chaplin tomorrow yes. to get Ellie on hyped up. Well, that morning after, I wanted to just be with my mom. You know, all the moms were with their kids helping them warm up for their solos. Right. And I was completely by myself. And I remember crying to my mom saying, don't go. And I remember Scott on the phone being like, shit, like maybe we shouldn't do this. And I was like, please, like don't make her. And she was like, look, I'm doing this for you. I love you. So the reason I looked embarrassed is because I wasn't embarrassed. I just felt so bad for my mom because she did not want to be doing it, but she was doing it for me. It, it was just an odd thing to do. Yeah. And they were just trying to get into Yolanda mm -hmm. and have her look like a wacko. Yeah, and you'll see they turn it into then, Yolanda's trying to take the attention. That's Away from the her child. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of those mothers did live vicariously through their children. Mm -hmm. They did. Yeah, so you'll but see here, that's what they're trying to Yolanda always wanted the best for you. What did I say? That, that was mean. What you go, I, I think you forgot the step and you came up with this little story. Oh, no, no, I didn't forget it. The stage was really sticky. I, okay. I remember my heart sunk when you said that. I was oh. like, I got so sad. I have to say something. This kid is, hold your, move over a little bit. This kid is quirky. Oh. She's odd. Oh. She's oh. unique. Oh. And she is going to end up with her own show oh. on Disney or Nickelodeon. Oh my God. Well, thank That's you. That's what I did. She's well spoken. She's intelligent. Her vocabulary is great. Thank you. And she looks like just this tiny little mouse. Not rat. But no, like tiny I little, would hope I wouldn't look like a rat. Tiny little hamster mouse okay. with this big voice. And well, she could have her own show. That's well, exactly what I, was, I thought. I was pretty well educated, I will say. Yes. Until season eight. All right, guys. So this next one is actually when I came back to season eight and I had this beautiful solo called Castaway. Do you remember that solo? Were no? you like on a rock in the water? Yeah. Something like something that, like you were that. stranded on an mm -hmm. island? Okay, yes. I remember, remember that. that. Okay. Did you wear blue? Yeah. Just somebody stranded yes. oh. on a desert island. Yes. A dead fish. That's crazy. I should watch this show because these are some good lines. Yeah. That's not the Elliot. She just needs to get back. That was good. 
That was the leap was gorgeous, but did you see the foot on the way up? Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. She was mad. Oh, look at her. She was mad. This morning at the hotel, I overheard Yolanda telling Eliana she better win today or they're quitting the team. She Which sucks. was not true. Well, like, quit eavesdropping really on people. Like, yeah, you know, that's the just... second time that happened. Remember when Lori Ann was there? I told my mom, I was like, because I wanted to be in the number. I was like, just tell me what to say, mom. My mom's like, I can't tell you what to say. Tell your story. But Stacy overheard the, just tell me what to say. So when she was like, Yolanda told Eliana exactly what to say. So there was more eavesdropping. That was her yeah, thing. Yeah, well, she's, she's nice. So here, this scene right here, they actually clipped this piece. My mom said, this is what she said, quote, I never said, if you don't get first place overall, we're going home. And look what they did. I would say something, she would say, I was doing it. I'm like, no, I wouldn't open my mouth if you were doing it. I'm trying to help you. Now, you better go in there and you better be first overall or we're going home. Did you see how it was just like a really abrupt cut into it? Because they clipped and, it. And she doesn't even breathe between the words. No. It's like cut into tight. Yeah, they clip like, it, that's so obvious. They clipped Editing. it. Editing. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't say that. She goes, I never said, and then went into it. Because I remember that specifically, and I was like, oh my god, they cut that out. So I was like, Editing. Don't you dare tell her what to do. You can say. Oh. Sorry, girls, didn't mean to use that language, but oh my you know. God. I don't Damn. know what's going on with Yolanda. I mean, what kind of wackadoo way is that <laughs> to psych up your kid? She's not psyching up the kid, she's psyching out the kid. True. I'm the only one around here that gives ultimatums. Ooh. Oh, I was so mad. Yeah, you need to step out on that stage oh. like you are a winner. So here's my thing. I was so mad because I came off that stage thinking like, wow, like that was one of the best times I've ever danced. I'm so happy. But then I come in the dressing room and you're like, you were shaky. And Gianna was like, yeah, like you, your shoulders were up. And my mom was like, you didn't do good. So it was so degrading for me because I came off happy and then I come in the dressing room. And I remember even Joanne got in on it too. She was like, yeah, you were beautiful, but like you just, it wasn't your best. So I was just, I was like so mad because I wanted to do so well and I felt like I didn't. I came in to have everyone tell me like you didn't. So I was just like so incredibly like frustrated and mad at life. Well, one of the things I teach my students all the time is when you exit the stage, you have to be like, yes, I nailed it, whether you did or not. So yeah. that the kid in the wings that's going next- is scared. Is scared. Psyched out. Psyched out, that's, that's right. So you should have come off great. In the first place- So I don't know if you remember, yeah, but- I don't, I don't know if you exactly know what happened, but I was so mad after that, that I went into the dressing room behind there, didn't realize I was mic'd, made a comment, and they got the psychologist on the phone. And then you were gone. Yeah. And that um, killed me because- two, No comment. Two more solos, and we would have, you'd have been there. I know. Like another lyrical, and then something else Yeah, because remember there was a two-week break, and yeah. in that two-week break, then I think ultimately they got scared. I was like, I don't know if I want to go back, because I'm one of those, just a stupid comment. I mean, I can't share what that comment is, but I didn't realize I was mic'd, and I, as soon as I came out, I saw all the mic people, and they were all like. Oh. Eliana, as a little girl, said something that was inappropriate and scary, and she said it, she had a microphone on, everybody heard it and went, ew, did you that? Instead of, Eliana, shut up, don't say that. That's what should have happened. And I didn't say it because I was like actually feeling that. No, I just no, said no, it because no, no, I was no. just mad. I was like. Ugh. Right, she should have stayed, two more solos, she'd have been the champion yeah. of that group. You'd have been beating Brady. Mm -hmm. it, it worked out though because during those two weeks, that break from like, remember, because we had a break right after this week. And I went and that's when I auditioned for Radio City. And then that's when I got Radio City. Because so Because I knew when the Radio City auditions were. Mm, oh, so you did that. I and you know what's funny, it's actually really cool. So I was the only girl to ever do Radio City out of the Dance Moms girls. There were a few that auditioned, but I was the only one. She's the only one that got it. Yes, and she's beautiful. We got to you go to, see me. to New York City for Christmas and see her on the great stage yes. at Radio City. Radio Music City. Hall. This is what yes. I was doing while everyone else was, but still great experience. But yeah, so yeah. those are- So she came in late and left early. Yeah. That's like, <laughs> that's like a, a party. That's what a star does. They yeah. show up late and oh. they leave early. Well, thank you. So she did that. And now she's sitting here today as an influencer, a mm. YouTuber, and it's just oh, acting, mm -hmm. still dancing, of course and uh, very successful. I'm proud of you. Thank very you. Successful. We're gonna do another video on Abby's channel from her point of view, so if you wanna go watch that, go to Abby's channel. This is fun to kind of look back and relive some of the stuff and really let you guys know some of the truth. Let me know if you want us to do more scenes another time, yes. but yes, yes, yes. this was fun. I love you guys. All Make right. sure you subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you, sweetheart. Of course, bye so you guys. Proud of you. Bye. bye.